Hi, in this video uh, we're going to learn about permutations. So we're going to look at a problem where we're uh, placing components on a circuit board. Then we'll talk about the number of arrangements of these components in this example. So let me just uh, read to you the example and highlight the important points. Uh, a printed circuit board has eight different locations on it and we're going to put a component in, in these places. So at the moment, uh, let's go ahead and underline, we have eight different locations, but we have four different components, and we want to put these components on the board, and we want to figure out how many different designs are possible. Uh, this is a permutation problem. What we're trying to do is determine the number of permutations of four components given a set of eight different locations. Let me go ahead and draw you a picture. That really helps me a lot. Well, let's just assume this is a circuit board. Um, I've actually worked for a circuit board company, so um, this is kind of interesting to me. And there's eight different locations where these components can go. So let's just imagine here's, here's one location, two, three, four, uh, four didn't look too good, five, six, seven, eight. And I have four different components, so we'll call it component one, component two, component three, and component four, and they're all different. So what we could do, I mean, we could decide and place uh, component one over here in location number three. We could put component two in location number five. We could put component three in location number six. We could put component four in location number two. So that's one possible arrangement. Okay, so we could go back and what we're trying to figure out is how many of these arrangements uh, could we make. Okay, uh, we could go right to the formula because obviously there's a formula for this. Uh, they, they wrote it out in the book. It's actually the notation here is P for permutation. N equals 8 because we have 8 locations and R equals 4 because we have 4 distinct elements. So if we use the formula that's given in the book, this is just... 8 times 7 times 6 times 5, okay, which is, if we want to calculate it, 1680. But if you think about it, um, you know, I don't always like to pin something right into a formula. Um, we actually have these four components, so component 1, component 2, component 3, and component 4. And if you think about it this way, um, the number of places that we could place component 4 into is 8, okay? And then by the multiplication rule that we've learned in an earlier chapter, we multiply by the number of places left to put component 2. Now we only have 7 places left because we already used one of them, so we multiply by 7. Component 3 has 6 places, and then component 4 has 5 places. So we come up with the same formula that we use to do the permutation, but maybe that makes more sense to you as to where it's coming from. So just to uh, recap, this was an example on permutations. And what we were doing was trying to arrange four unique elements, and we had eight different locations. Okay, talk again soon.